What's up, Fast Babes? It's your girl Joy back with another banger. <laughs> How you doing? I hope you are doing well. It is the top of the week. We have 20 more days remaining of school. So I don't like to say 20 days left. I like to say there's 20 days to make it count. Ah, so we're almost at the end and I am ready. I'm ready, but I'm not ready. But the last, you know, what we talked about last time, you gotta go watch my video from last time. <laughs> so my heart still aches a little. Uh, not by the disgruntled parent because I know there are other underlying issues there that I think um, no administrator will be able to handle. But with, you know, uh, the student saying that I gave them mental trauma, T-R-A-M-A, -A. Uh -huh. mental trauma. I mean, I still weighs on my heart because, like I said before, I don't think I give a lot of work. I think it's how you manage your work and manage your time. And I have an inkling who the student is, and they are an overachiever, and I think they stress a lot about a little where it's not really necessary. And so it still, it still bothers me a little bit, but um, administration was very supportive. And so they brought the information to me to know how to rebuttal or know how to reply. And so it was just like, you know, can you explain this, blah, blah, blah. So um, he wrote little notes on the paper just so he knew how to reply back to the anonymous um, complaint. And so, um, outside of that, everything is good, 20 more days. And someone said to me, or well, it was Bay Daddy, Bay Daddy was like, stop stressing about school. The kids are not putting in a lot of effort, so why don't you stop putting in a lot of effort? You need to turn your computer off, because I was on my computer trying to come up with creative stuff for the last 20 days. And she was like, why? They don't appreciate it. Many of them don't appreciate it. And you keep, you know, putting your all into trying to make things creative and make things fun. I know another uh, person who has stopped by my channel is like, well, maybe your lesson should be exciting. Trust me, I come up with some very, very exciting lessons. I just don't share them that much here. Like the last lesson was a detective investigation. But along with the fun, you got to write a literary analysis. Um, another thing was creating a house. So everything I do is fun and it's engaging, but you still have to think. It's just not gonna be multiple choice, A, B, C, D, and you move right along. No, you gotta think, you have to process. So outside of that, um, I'm excited for the last 20 days. I have lots of professional developments coming up. So pretty excited about that and implementing those things for the new school year. I really don't do anything this summer, so uh, it's kind of boring, really. I don't, I don't do anything. Bobby will be back home. Bobby, she's my daughter. She goes to Arkansas State. She's on a full basketball scholarship. Um, so she comes home Thursday. So maybe she'll come to school with me on Friday. And then um, Sydney. I didn't do a lot of vlogging, per se, where I was talking. I did a lot of little clips of her friends, her and her friends um, posing for photos. I tried to vlog her hair, but the lighting was horrible. My camera was not behaving. Naughty camera, naughty, naughty camera. <laughs> so the camera was behaving. So I did her a ponytail, honey. Yes, I had to go to YouTube University to learn how to do that ponytail job. Yes, I did. And she was stressing me, so I was stressed out. So I was praying that thing didn't fall out. I, she was just stressing me. We were limited on time. So I left school um, a little early and she picked me up so we could rush home to do her hair. Then I had to put on some eyelashes. Then she didn't like the eyelash. Then it was too long. Then it, I had to clip that. I was like, look, this is bleeding into my hair time. Because, you know, I'm just a freshman. Shoot, I just graduated from YouTube University, honey. And, I, oh, yeah, I remember somebody asked about my hair. I just took my shoes off. So this is what I'm wearing today. Nothing, nothing exciting. So yes, my braids are super, 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 super long and I do my own braids. But what I do, taking all the braids out at one time is just 
overwhelming. So what I do, I just do my hair in sections. I can shampoo it, I color it, so now I need a new color. Um, I color it, I shampoo it, and so what I'll do, I'll take out like the crown area, and that'll take me hours and hours and hours, and I just watch movies, and I'll take out the, um, the front row, then I'll do the back. So I do my hair in sections. There's no way that I'm gonna sit there and just, it will probably take, for me, it will take me a week since the braids are small and long. So I just do little sections at a time. I know somebody mentioned how long my braids were. Yeah, they're pretty long. And so I do the braid and then I extend. So I get to a certain level and then I start to feed in. I only feed in once to make them a little longer. And so yeah, they're pretty long, pretty long. <laughs> but I do them myself. So Cindy looked beautiful. Um, I was really happy that she allowed me to do her hair i wish she had gone somewhere but you know she's not trying to spend any money on hair i don't know anyone who does hair and so i just went to youtube university and she looked so pretty but she wanted the ponytail out the very next day and another thing too so after graduation um her friend they were going to a beach house and she was part of the group to go to the beach house after prom but she was kind of wavering and it was almost $500. I was like, honestly, I didn't I didn't have it. I would have scraped it up and figured out a way for her to go, but that was that that was expensive. And she was like, "Oh, they'll probably be, you know, drinking and stuff." So, I wasn't too keen on that. So, she didn't go. So, I dropped out of all the plans for for that when she said she didn't want to go. And I was like, "Oh, if it's just going to be drinking and stuff and you know that's not what you want to be around, or blah blah blah." So, she was okay. But I think she got home really early from prom. I think it could have been 10 o'clock. And I was like, and I was kind of in and out, dozing off. And I was like, boy, is that Cindy? And um, she was taking a shower, whatever. And I asked, I said the next day, I was like, you got home early? She was like, yeah, and we talked later. She was like, yeah, I cried a little. I was like, why? You said you didn't want to go. She said, but it didn't hit me until all her friends left prom early to drive up to the beach, um, to the, the beautiful house that they rented. It was expensive. And she says, and then, you know, so she came home cause all her friends left. So she's, then she had regrets that she didn't go, but like she said, it was drinking and blah, blah, blah. But um, she said that they had a great time. So I felt really, really, really bad because you know, you want that, graduation prom you want that experience to last for a lifetime and i'm sad that that's the feeling that's left but when she was telling me about it the next next day she was like mm, and i was like i'm glad you didn't go <laughs> i'm glad you didn't go i said you know peer pressure probably would have pushed you in to do things certain things or whatever but I don't know, but she will be headed out the day after graduation. She's going to a camp. Um, she'll be working a camp. It's a, a, a religious thing and working with camps and stuff like that. So she'll be gone for a full month. And I think shortly after she returns, um, sh she'll be ready to leave for college. Yeah, and this is getting a little long, so I'm going to stop it right here. I just wanted to give you guys a little update, and thank you for all your support and everything with, you know, my little uh, mental trauma case, and, you know, I'm I'm going to reply to some of that, but it's just my little heart. I can still feel a little ache in my little heart. It, it really does, because I never want anyone to feel that way over some schoolwork. I mean... Come talk to me or something, you know, if it's stressing you out that way, it's not but a conversation. So anyways, like I'm not, I'm not uh, the devil, you know, just talk to me like Miss Basil is really stressing me out. You know, I work with you. I mean, because everybody handles stress differently. And I believe this young lady, she is an overachiever. She wants everything perfect, perfect. And I remember one day, if it, if this is, if it's her, I remember one day, she, I was like, we went over something. I was like, no, you don't have to do it over. It's okay. No, 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 no. I have to. It has to be perfect. I'm like, okay, have fun with that. So if it's her, I think um, she takes on a lot. She wants to be perfect. And I think she puts a lot of pressure on herself.
which therefore made me the evil monster. <laughs> so anyway, um, I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. And I will talk to you later. Bye, y'all.